Hello friends, it's Michelle, your instructor. I'll be doing a book presentation for you today um, and every week. Um, this week I'm going to be showing you one of my favorite books um, for lesson one, Elements of Art and Instruction, or Elements of Art and Fiction. And the book I'm going to show you today is Casey at the Bat by Ernest Lawrence Thayers. It's actually a ballad of the Republic sung in the year 1888 and I like how the illustrator labeled his name there copiously and faithfully illustrated by Christopher Bing so this week we're going to be talking a lot about uh, illustration and art that's found in children's literature and this book is a great example of some of the creative things that illustrators do um, it's probably age appropriate for grades three through six or above because it is Poetry and some of the words in here and just the artwork itself would be appreciated at the higher levels. Um, one thing that the illustrator did is try to recreate the way an old newspaper would look back in the year 1888. And then uh, the large font is the actual poem or ballad or song. And then all along the bottom edges you would find things that would look like the newspaper or scraps of things that you might find back then and all of it is fiction that the illustrator created they, um, in the back of the book it also give a little bit of insight into the how they did the illustration they used pen paint and pencil and then for all of the fonts of the newspaper. They tried to recreate fonts that you would find back in the newspapers back then. I'm a big fan of illustration that looks layered because if you were a child you'd want to touch it and see if that's actually in the picture. So as you can see this book is a poem which is a great poem but really it's the illustration that draws you to it. Um, often illustration carries the story along or sometimes books might be uh, recognized or award-winning due to the illustration rather than the story. This book is one of those books where you, um, if you hear Casey at the Bat, you automatically think of the illustrations of the book rather than the actual song. So I would highly recommend buying this. I'm going to be talking to you in the next few days about how I rate books. Um, the way I would rate a book the highest is if I buy it hardcover and this is a hardcover book so I would recommend a full price purchase of this book there is a book jacket somewhere I don't know where it went to but um, I usually take my book jackets off anyway so that they're not destroyed so um, I would recommend this book highly I enjoyed it a lot especially um, the illustration and the detail by Christopher Bing thanks <laughs>